What's happening, people? And happy Halloween, almost. Today we're doing a very special episode. We are going to be shooting an episode on what it means to defoliate your vegging cannabis plants. So this one here is one of our uh, blueberry uh, plants that we got going. This is the uh, original blueberry indica from 2007. Obviously, it is a hybridized thing. Predominance uh, of roughly 80%, uh, 80%, 85%, if I'm remembering correctly. Uh, those out there who can Google it, maybe check Leafly. But it was a top 10 placer in 2007. Um, but if you look here, though, you can see the indica genetics at work. Look at these giant serrated fan leaves. They're fucking huge. It's like, it's still a young vegging plant, but damn it, woman. Look at her go, right? And these are a feminized seed. Um, so, you know, hopefully it is a female. But let's count our serrated here. We're just going to take a look here. We got two, four, six, eight, nine. So on this big one, we're up to nine serrated fan leaves very nice so how do we defoliate why do we defoliate um why we defoliate our weed plants my friends is you'll see we need to open up this canopy if we were outdoors and this plant was growing naturally i mean for the most part it's going to be okay i mean were there people in mother nature that you know, defoliated the weed plants? No. So the plant's going to figure itself out and it's going to do itself outside. We're not talking about cultivating cannabis outdoors, though. We're talking about cannabis inside. So really, to speed things up, to control, to maximize, to manipulate, I personally, especially with these indica-dominant or straight-up indica plants that come out like these bushy bitches, I'm going to defoliate every fucking time I'm vegging, at least on these initial ones. If you monster crop... We'll get in that, into that um, maybe in another episode, but that's where you take a clone from a flowering plant and um, it will kind of have this huge explosion. We've talked about it in previous uh, episodes, and so in this one, uh, we will be taking the same thing. We're going to be taking clones uh, for the first week of flower to preserve this one because she is the strongest of the two blueberries we got going. She is the mother plant. So, um, but in an initial from seed plant, you're gonna wanna defoliate. So, let's take a look here inside. So you see this big fan leaf? It's connected to the anterior main stalk, right at the node. It is the initial, think of it like a, a solar panel. It is what fed the nubile growth. But if you look here at the internodal, oh, there's something above it. And if you look, let's see if we can get in there to show you. Okay, not this one. But, oh shit, this one, see my wiggling finger? That is coming out of that node site where that giant fan leaf is. So by removing that fan leaf, technically, are you cutting off what's been feeding that? Yes, but it has its own little leaves and it'll cause the plant to kind of defend itself, to go into growth and put the energy to grow into that branch. And that branch gonna come out, it's gonna grow other branches, and it's gonna be sexy. That's called getting your weed plant to a sufficient size so you're yielding and justifying having it in a big bucket. There's enough space to get a decent sized weed plant in there. So you know what, why not take care of your plants to get that to happen? So, simply put, as you can tell, this fan leaf, we're gonna remove all the fan leaves, uh, probably up to just leaving the very top ones that aren't even developed there. The rest of it we're gonna go, because if you look here, we've got new bio branch stalks all cluster fucked in the middle here. By removing these giant fan leaves, those little branches, those sexy ladies, are gonna be able to jump out of your plant and be like, whoa, I feel like a woman growing up, you know what I'm saying? They're gonna get big, they're gonna get sexy. Ooh, look, old school it in the background. It's on mute. I like horror films, especially old ones. You don't give a shit, though. We're here to talk about weed. So, this is uh, what we're going to be doing today. And we're going to remove basically all the fan leaves. So what I'm going to do, I like to use a razor blade. I'm just going to cut in there. I like to leave a little bit about like this. This long underneath, just to give that... Um, a little stump. It One, it's going to reinforce that new branch. So it's going to have like a bit of a stump there always that the plant will keep alive. It's like a foundation. So when that bud branch grows up and gets sexy, it's going to be reinforced now. It's going to have a foundation. 
Also, I mean, this is just in my own personal opinion. When you leave a little bit of this, right, it gives you a bit of a channel. So if there are going to be some pathogens that come into your cut there, it's going to uh, have, have to, you know, travel a little bit further to get into the system of the plants. So if Ann Leaf, you know, you're getting cut off in a minute. Um, you know, so that's just why I do that. Foundation and, and for pathogens. That's my thought. It's my, my two cents. I'm going to do... Uh, Cut this clip off here for a second. My camera lady is in the bath. Oh, yes. Um, but when she done, um, I will kind of go into cutting these fan leaves off for you and showing you what she looks like. Then we're going to do the rest of the plants and boom. Hashtag yes. Hashtag Pasquatch Growers. See you in a few. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, everybody. What's up? Lady Pasquatch is out of her CBD THC bath. Yeah, that's right. BigBudsDelivery.com. They sell bath bombs. It's got weed and stuff in it. So, anyway, I've already started. We've gotten in there. We're starting it. As you can see here, there are the fan leaves that we've taken off so far. We're now up here to this nodal segmentation. So, the trick here, guys, is one, be very careful. <laughs> okay. So, just gently, gently getting in there. Okay, so remember, we're going to leave a bit for kind of like a foundation. You're gonna remove it. Mmm, if you smell it, everybody smell it. Smell nice. Okay, now, the other side. <laughs> Gotta be very careful. I normally hold it, but this one's tricky, so I'm gonna go in like that. And yes, this razor blade looks like it's dirty. It is literally covered in rosin and hash oil. It's been disinfected. I used just uh, some rubbing alcohol and I rinsed it off with fresh water. Okay, so as we can see, we gotta take these puppies out here too. Jesus fucking Christ. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this one is delicate surgery. Let's try to get in there. Holy shit. Demon get it. Okay, we're gonna go very gently. We're getting in there. I'm holding the new bio growth ever so gently. Like kissing Jesus or Muhammad or whoever you choose to worship. Okay, we got that one, ladies and gentlemen. Shit. Let's get in there to the next one. Oh, no. Let's turn it this way. There we go. This one is even trickier. Okay, so for this one, I think I'm going to try to get in there and pull it up. There we go. See that? We're going to pull her up. Trying to remove it with her thumb and pushing it out. There. Whew. There we go. Nice. Look at that. Anybody want some salad? Let's make a salad. Nice little balsamic vinaigrette on there. Ooh, tasty. I've actually done that. Okay, so. You know what? There's one more. We're going to go. We're, we're, we're taking these out too. These are young. As you can see, they're very tiny. Some would say those are the energy sites, and they are, as we've already talked about. But I'm going to say fuck it. This is going to be our top. When they grow out a bit, maybe we'll, uh, we'll top these, and then we'll have four out of this secondary crown, and this will turn into a top crown. There we go. You know? I don't fucking know. But you know what? We're doing it. We're going to throw Kosh into the wind. We're going to say, fuck it. I believe in these branches. That's right. Next one. I believe in you little branches. You can do it. Yes. Hey. <laughs> so, this is what your cannabis plant is going to look like defoliate. As, we've, as you can see, these two kind of still developing ones we've left those intact for the top crown that's going to develop now go down here this is going to be our secondary big canopy these branches are going to come out and then we're going to tie these girls down and do some low stress training maybe on them but i'm not going to do that yet i'm going to let them mature more they're not ready if you see i've left the initial singular serrateds on because they are actually feeding nutrition into these and normally yes you would clean this all out i'm gonna leave it though for now 
because we're going to take these and these are going to be clones. They're going to become clones. Maybe one of them will become the mother plant of this sexy blueberry bush because this is the phenol, this is the girl that we're keeping because we like what we're seeing. This is plant one. I will do the rest of the plants and I'll quickly give you a quick shot there of what they all look like. Oh no. One thing I've noticed is there is a tiny little thing left there. There we go. See, it was just a little vein, a little capillary, I guess you could call it. But I wanted to remove it. Now it's perfect. <laughs> you can press stop now. Everybody, what's up? Welcome to the last clip. So, this is all of the plants defoliated. So the blueberry that we did for you would have been this one right there. This is our Gabba Platinum Cookie. So this big one here will be the one that we're taking uh, cuttings from from this one. This one will be our cutting plant for that one. And this one here, no wait, I'm wrong. That was the blueberry. These are bubble gum. That's the bubble gum cuttings. And this will be the blueberry cuttings. Anyway, they've been defoliated and they are happy now. We will be doing an episode very shortly uh, for you as well. See this big Sasquatch mother plant? I mean, you know, she's got some yellow in and all that. We're not worried about that. We're gonna trim her right down, get her back to fitting this, and give her a nice big feed, and she'll be happy again. Because as you can tell, she's actually grown taller than the light. So, this is the vegging tent. We don't want that. Not for the way we grow and not for the available space. So we will be doing an episode on that, but everybody, this is how you defoliate your plants. That's why you do it. I believe I touched all the basic bases on that. Anyway, have a wonderful night, everybody, and be safe. Love your weed, love yourselves, and fuck Bear and Monsanto. We all unified, fighting for the common cause of true cannabis can resist. This bad squatch grows out. Peace.